Did you watch that debate last night? Ha! I did. I was wide eyed and bushy tailed last night. And my first tweet last night was Holy Toledo, Vice President Pence has got a fly on his head. That's all I can think about that. Uh, that was my first tweet. I guess it's good to have a great music repertoire of memory of songs of many, many years ago. That's the man, the Twist Man, from way back in the 1960s. Chubby Checker, that's him. Had that one called uh, The Fly. <laughs> and, and rather than my making comments about this here, a lot of people saw the post, and I'm going to read some of the things that they said about this. Kathy Kaufman writes to me in a, in a post, in the comment, rather, she said, the fly even chose Pence over Harris. Well, I, if you think so, I mean, that's if, if Kathy, that's where you are. I'm not sure you're right. <laughs> I mean, if it's a fly, if I'm going to be chosen, if we got to choose our presidents by flies, you know that flies are winged maggots. You do know that, right? Mm. So, and the Kimberly Tobias writes, you can see the fly on his pretty white hair. <laughs> then it flew over and landed in Kamala's pretty black hair. You just couldn't see that. Pepsi little things. I didn't see it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Kimberly. I cannot allow that to be posted as truth. We'll have to fact check you. I don't think that fly went over to see uh, Kamala. Kimberly. Kamala, rather. I wouldn't care if it did. I just, I just want to fact check you. Gary Stromy writes, James Manning, I have a James Manning doll in my hand, and I'm sticking it with a pin. Do you feel the pain? Yeah! <laughs> I guess the guy, this, we wish you down in Haiti somewhere. This voodoo stuff, I, they got a voodoo doll on me. I guess the guy don't like me. Is that what it is, man? You, you know, I mean, why? Marsha, Minister Marsha Carr just writes, it came off a of calamar. Well, I can't verify that. I have to fact check that as well. I didn't, I, 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 when I saw the fly coming, he was coming directly down. But anyway, Craig Fisher writes, Manning 2024. Guess they want me to run for president. I don't do that kind of stu stuff, Craig. I appreciate your, your faith in me and confidence in me, but I don't do that. I don't run for politics. I don't do that. Frank uh, Campius writes, Yep, the fly won the debate. As far as I'm concerned, you absolutely I agree. That's the first thing I agree with. Uh, Glenda Campbell writes, and Frank is dream on, right? Now Louise Johnson says, you catch more flies with honey, so we know who smile smell the best. I mean, you know, I've heard that we catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. I've just never been about the business of catching flies, but I, I'm not going to refute this. I mean, I've, I've heard it as a proverb for many years, but I, I, I mean, I, I'm not in the business of catching flies. Are your flies are winged maggots. That's what they are. They are hatched from a maggot. Denise George said she lied so much. I guess it's talking about Kamala Harris or the fly. <laughs> are you talking about the fly? Was the fly a female fly? I don't know. Angie Henson said, Pence. <laughs> Pence and the fly. <laughs> 2024. <laughs> Roger Smith writes, Pence 2020. Uh, that's not very creative, Roger. You got to be a little bit better than that. I mean, you got an American flag, but come on. And you better not let Donald Trump see this either. He will kill Pence. We saw that. Anyway, John. Espinosa says, 
Roger Williams, get off them drugs, dude. I didn't know it was on drugs. Anyway, so Roger Smith says here a question. David Johnson said, it came from Uranus. That's, I guess he's talking about a planet. That's where the fly came. had a long journey. Otis Adams said, look out. The fly picked the winner. Okay, I mean, all right, all right. I, I mean, if you think, what's the name Juan last night? I, I, I won't disagree with that. And I, I won't disagree with, I mean, I'm not agreeing with the fly because I don't know what the fly was thinking about last night. It said, uh, uh, Ju Julian Billing says, the Donald Trump triumphs 2020. I don't know what that means. Oh, I left a comment on ABC. Oh, my God. The fly on Pence's head says omen. I guess, and and the the Hilleration had a fly land on her face during one of the debates against Trump in 2016. Be Beelzebub is known as the Lord of the Flies in Matthew 24, 27, uh, 12, 24 through, through verse 27. In Exodus, I don't know about that. I, 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 in Exodus, um, uh, there are 10 plagues against Egypt and the Egyptians. And and, and, and OB1, Pharaoh 444, Barakatan 666, the fourth plague was the plague of the flies, which came against the Egyptian, not the Israelites. All right. Uh, and they got Hillary, a fly landed on Hillary, too. So does that mean that, 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 that Pence is going to lose? Because Hillary got, got the snot beat out of her. Uh, and oh my God, oh, Omen, the fly, I don't ignore God's warnings. So, okay, I don't know who writes that. Uh, Roof Ruby writes to Julian Billings, sorry, but the same fly was on Kamala's head also, just not as noticeable. I, I, I was watching pretty good. I don't, I don't I have to fact check that. I, so I'm not going to let your st statement stand. It's true, Ruby. Uh, and then uh, Otis writes, Otis Adams writes, Trump. Gary Matthews, right? Camel Harris. <laughs> That's a good one. Jason Bush, right? Pence smoked her. And David Wilkinson writes. You know, it's a preacher and David Wilkinson. He wrote the switch, the crossing the switchblade. He's dead now. Camelia. These are some good names. I like these. I like, what's this name here? Um, Camel Harris. Let the camel back. And then this one says Camelia. I like that one too. And Quinta Riches write, writes uh, L M A O O O O O O. You know what that means? I can't tell you what it says. Then Drill writes, at least she's dressed and heels on the floor for a change, Willie Brown. That's that guy used to be the mayor of San Francisco. He and Camel, Camel Harris was getting it on for a goodly while to somebody. Else. Her husband caught it her, and busted it up. Uh, Donna Turnbull, all right, Pence did a great job. On the other hand, the evil Harris told lie after lie and was given a soft glove treatment from a liberal moderator. <laughs> Mr. Engineer, one more again for the fly. Just one more time. And take me out of this segment once you do. <laughs> this was so funny last night. <laughs> I'm James Evan Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord Servant. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon. Uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. 
You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.